It is great to have you back here at Coin Lady Channel. Attention all XRP enthusiasts. A single whale purchased 16 million XRP on a prominent Korean exchange. Let me tell you something. The statistics are usually substantially higher than this when I come across stories like this. Some absurdly large sum, maybe a further 300 million XRP, or 50 million, could be involved. Whenever I come across such a story, I usually find myself wondering if it's necessary to click on the article. After all, most of the time, when you read such a story, you end up thinking, okay. Even though we don't know the exact reason behind this transaction, or the identity of the buyer, maybe we have some good reasons to speculate. There is often always some kind of trade. Plus, you can view the to and from addresses, so you can deduce whether a large exchange owns this one with some effort. Without fail, the response is affirmative. For my part, I consider this to be a huge deal, 16 million XRP, in the context of this transaction, which is admittedly subjective. It's not massive by any stretch of the imagination, and I really doubt it's from an exchange, in fact. The patterns of behavior we're witnessing here make me think this is someone who is probably holding a lot of XRP, but is only dabbling in arbitrage. Because it might be an individual, a group, or both, it's intriguing to watch and wonder about the motivations behind it all. In any case, I do not consider it to be a trade. Considering the poisonous Bitcoin match, he decided, hey, XRP is going to zero. It's not going to do well. You're wasting your money buying XRP. I think that's probably true, but that doesn't excuse him from making a purchase of 16 million XRP. Listen, I'll tell you something. This room is full of wealthy slobs who strongly disagree with you. All right. That concludes the usual outlook of the living retail speculators. Now we get to the part about the huge bucks. Plus, I usually notice that the wealthy are also the intelligent ones, after all, they wouldn't have amassed such substantial wealth otherwise. Therefore, such is the case the majority of the time. I feel the need to mention this before delving into the details, just because I find it utterly intriguing. I also did some light digging into it. This is just a personal story about a whale that invested XRP and was willing to risk a huge sum of money. Think about it in that light. According to on-chain statistics, a significant quantity of 16 million XRP has been moved from up BIT, one of the biggest cryptocurrency exchanges in South Korea, to an unknown wallet. This is a major development in the article. Crypto enthusiasts are wondering if a whale is purchasing XRP since Whale Alert, a service that monitors significant cryptocurrency transactions, noticed and reported the transfer from an unknown wallet. So, it is the current display on your screen. Plus, it's all automatic. These occurrences happen frequently to me. And the vast majority of the time, I just disregard these reports. I was intrigued by its size, though. Oh, click on that is the suggestion. That one I will click. And I'll jump on the bandwagon to find out what's happening with this one. If they are ridiculously large, though, like 1 billion XRP or something, I'm just not going to click on them. There will be a trade like that. The reason I clicked on it, though, is that I don't understand what's happening. A total of 16 million XRP, or slightly more than 10 million USD, was sent from an anonymous bidder to a wallet that is currently unknown. On March 29th, that incident occurred. Meanwhile, in a related development, another huge transaction involving 18 million XRP was sent from UpBIT to an undisclosed wallet, according to a whale alert. The total value of this transfer is $11.2 million. Still, let's zero in on the primary one. I decided to get right in. This is something that I'm sure many of you are already aware of, since it loads when you click on it. You can conduct your own independent research, though, by clicking here. It isn't hard. When I click on this, 
it leads to that hurdle, and the real account pops up. See this is the original account if you want to. The account you requested is here. Therefore, the final destination account is located at this very location. The one that got 16 million XRP is this one. It was at that moment that I thought, hold on a second, as I was staring at this object. Here is the address that will be sent. It has a total of 967,219 XRP, but only 960 of them. I was wondering whether they had simply purchased 16 million XRP, and then sold 15 million. So, what happens to it? After a while of scrolling, I realized that these are headed to other exchanges, such as Binance, Bibit, and Bitcoin. There are thus several transactions, sure, X. I began to scan through them when it occurred to me, hold on a second, these aren't really major purchases. XRP, 151 XRP, here's one for roughly 2300. Therefore, I began to wonder why there are so many deals going on here. Plus, they never waver. It seems like there are many transactions every minute. Of all things, this must be a bot. Now I'm really interested. Okay, so what's this XRP whale doing acting all aquatic on my blog? Are you talking about state boxing? How well versed are you in blockchain match? This piqued my interest. I proceed to scroll down the page indefinitely. And as you can see, let's skip the nonsense and get right to the point. Their enormous transaction is shown here. I believe we're nearly there now. Yeah. So, have a look at these. There are 250,000 XRP worth of transactions. They are dismantling it into its component parts. I was afraid you may fatfinger it, so I refrained from getting it to bid. So, we'll settle by doing 25,000 XRP. Very minor, isn't it? Are you able to fathom that? Was, nevertheless, the case anyway. Consequently, sending a quarter million XRP to a wide variety of addresses. Ultimately, they narrowed it down to my perception. I didn't go through each and every one, because that would have been pointless, but I did see a trend. At some point, it becomes apparent that this is a whale, and that it isn't immediately attempting to dump its holdings on the market. They appear to be utilizing a bot, too. The receipt shows that a million XRP was delivered to each of these accounts, which are likely divided into around 16 separate ones. As you can see, this is one of the extra accounts, thus it has been sold a bit. It took 16 million XRP from another account, and put it into this one, giving it 964,831 XRP. Thus, they are all active on September 20, 2023, and they are all held by the same person. So they had a plethora of separate accounts, perhaps to simply spread out the risk, a prudent security measure, to be sure. Hacking is a constant fear for everyone, and unexpected events do happen. There is another one here with 961,450 XRP left in this account, that's what it is. So, it's just bits and pieces, my best guess, is that this bot is just playing the arbitrage game, and loading up on XRP, at whatever price it can get away with, without causing a major market crash. I doubt that 16 million XRP, would have much of an impact if dumped all at once, especially if bought all at once. In other words, it's the equivalent of getting a net zero effect. In any case, it wouldn't be all that significant. However, it is intriguing to observe that this is their approach. Since I usually avoid delving into such matters, I thought I'd share my curiosity with you and assume that in this specific case, it was enjoyable to do so. Although I can't say for sure, it seems like this is a very wealthy person who probably has a plethora of other cryptocurrencies, nevertheless, I could be mistaken. However, this individual possesses the intelligence and self-assurance to possess an astronomical quantity of XRP. Plus, they're only selling a few pieces here and there. 
I think that's about all. That being said, I would be worried if the smart money was worried about keeping this much of XRP on the day that occurred. Honestly, I don't let my emotions get the best of me when it comes to my investment here. So if Moon Lambo is scared, then we should definitely pay attention. Specifically, I am not afraid when the price goes down, thus I am not doing well. If anything, I'll feel a surge of enthusiasm and emotion as the price increases. And that's perfectly fine. After six years in this industry, I still haven't sold a single XRP. So, the next time you hear me yelling that the sky is falling, pay attention. On the other hand, I plan to sell a ton, but not in a panic, when we start making money. Nothing can be predicted about the future of the XRP price, but I remain convinced that this is the most likely outcome. Record high. Right now, the market is going up. Finally, we reach the price discovery phase. At that point, I will do it downstairs. But there are many other kinds of whales going about their separate business in the interim. In this particular instance, it appears that there is bot activity that is attempting to extract small earnings. In other words, you're likely doing this with a wide variety of cryptocurrencies, however, you have a ton of capital here, and aren't scared to hold XRP. I get that it's only anecdotal, but looking at such stuff is entertaining. So, it's clear that we're not alone in thinking that holding XRP is a good idea, in fact, it seems like a lot of you are listening even if you don't own 16 million XRP. Many of you seem to have a substantial amount of XRP in your possession. That remains a genuine risk, Edu. On a personal note, I just checked the other day, so I can say that, looking at the accounts that hold XRP brings my overall crypto holdings to slightly more than 24%. My fear is non-existent. Because I think the thing eventually runs its course. I would have a terrible time resting tonight if I didn't have that exposure. On the other hand, I am at ease because my holdings span the whole asset class. Therefore, we will see the outcome. But being a crypto investor right now is so thrilling. It is interesting to note that this isn't simply an exchange stocking up when there is a whale alarm. Here we have what appears to be a real person engaging in real activities, which is rather cool. Based on my observations, that is typically not the case. You shouldn't put your money where your mouth is because of anything I say. I'm not a financial advisor. Well, that concludes our video. As always, I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe and leave a comment with your opinions. Muchas gracias, depart.